It's a sai from Sai the Sai guy. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is wrapping, well not wrapping up, but we well, actually are wrapping up the, the, the cancer medicine series. What, what I want to explain to you is uh, something about a carboxylic acid group and how we have gone from uh, sugar washes. Are you filming me or are you going on the ground? Um, so how we've gone from... <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on, boys. So we've gone from sugar washes making alcohol, uh, which, that, which, and then we distilled it, making this, this ethanol here. And then, what else have we done? We have grown the cannabis. I've now picked the cannabis. Look, in there, I've picked the cannabis, and um, it's still fresh. Uh, the reason it's still fresh is because if it had been dried out and you did the same uh, ethanol wash process, what would happen is the carboxylic acid group of, on the um, cannabinoids will, will fall away and become psychoactive. And that's not what you want when you are going to be giving uh, cannabis to children. What you need is to keep the carboxylic acid group on, on the cannabinoids and in that way prevent um, any psychoactive side effects um, but still having the cannabinoid there. So either way, you get the idea. We didn't dry it. We took fresh, we took fresh cannabis that I picked today. We're going to wash it with ethanol that we distilled. In another video, what she made from moonshine. Ah, oh, but and keep, that's keep smells. Me, little, as it smells like ethanol. Yeah. No, it's strong, eh? It smells really strong. bad. And then what you want to do is stir this through here. Wait, Dad. Take this out of here. It's a problem. Here. Let me get some gloves. Are you filming again? Yeah. Okay, so um, the, these ethanol washers have to be rather quick because if you're not, if you're too slow, the ethanol will break down the cellulose walls of the cells and the chlorophyll will enter solution. Go, 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 quick. So what you need to do is... And that is so bad. That just tastes so bad. All right, here we are at the end of the wash. Put some gloves on quick. And we're driving the resin into solution. And we And don't forget a dustbin. My dad just brought this random dustbin around. Yes, yeah, so I can throw this away easily. Let's run it through real quick. The last little bit. Okay, and we are going to take this ethanol and filter it through that coffee filter there. Ugh, oh, it stinks so bad, guys. Mm, it smells like ethanol. <sighs> It is super strong. Do not sniff it. It's, it is it's, really bad. It's Asiotropic 95% alcohol, which we My dad's gonna distilled drop it ourselves. In. All right, so now we've got to... I don't know if this is the best plan I've ever had. Hope it doesn't fall out. I hope it pours nicely. I doubt it, though. Dad, I may, maybe you should... But it should it should be all right. We can maybe go and get more, but let's, let's see if I can get it to pour in there. Is it still going? Yeah. Whoa. This is gonna take a bit of whoa, time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's <laughs> pouring off somewhere. Damn. Wait, what? Anyway, it's somewhat, somewhat <laughs> Let me check if there's... Anyway, mm. let's keep on going. No crack, so it isn't the actual thing that's cracked. Ah! It's going everywhere. If we can land it, someone landed on my foot. The good news is, after we take it out of there and pour it into here, it is going to be fairly, fairly to very clean. Ah! It's 
falling on the floor, guys. You can see it's all over there and it's on the ground okay, somewhere. Pause it, I think. Pause it. Guys, my dad just drank some of it. I'm not going to drink anymore, it's nasty. <laughs> it's I can't believe my dad just drank it. You can drink it, but it is really strong. Yeah. It is funny watching it's someone too strong, do actually. it. But again, let's just pause it, finish this filtration. Jack is just lying on the floor here, looking as, as durable as he can. Oh, this is super, super, that's going to become so sticky. Ridiculous. Are you filming again? No. Yeah. Why? Why are you filming? I wanted to. Oh, okay. I'm just going to clean up here a little bit. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be a sticky mess. Do you want to film this um, filtration? Okay. So that's going on there. Look down there. Slightly brown. Ooh. It's like it's run out of space. If we had left it too long, it, are you filming it? Are you filming where it goes into the water? It would have been uh, more... It would have gone green if we had filtered it. If we had left the cannabis in the ethanol for too long. Like I said, the cell walls would have broken down and the chloroform would have entered solution. Anyhow, that didn't happen. We prevented that. So bad. It smells like cannabis and alcohol mixed together. <laughs> really bad. Do you even know what cannabis smells like? I guess you can't. We have a ton in our garden. I know what it smells like. It's illegal, Deja. It's illegal in this country. <laughs> so don't don't go saying that off so readily. Okay. Anyway. And now it's about. taking forever to it's filtration. No, it's almost done there. Wait, I think it's full again. I don't know because none is done. Then what we do now? No more's going, but in. Okay, so. No more's going. Let me just explain to everyone a little bit more because we're eh. really all upside. I, I can't see. It's, it's going through. It's definitely is. Look. Oh. You see it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's, it's clear. Pause it a bit. Pause it a bit. Okay. Okay, is it going? All right. So, I wanted to tell you a story when I was a little boy about cannabis uh, this was 30 years ago it must have been about maybe even 30 maybe 30 11 32 yeah. years ago anyway the story is as follows uh, my feet would dry they would get dry and then like so crack. Get dry and dry and dry and they'd crack they'd, they'd crack and then bleed in the cracks because I don't know I just had this thing that was a disease or something and my mom, we lived in a small, well, my mom took me from doctor to doctor to doctor and they prescribed this and that and creams and all sorts of stuff. And uh, eventually, um, once we had basically given up, she said she had heard that there is a, a healer, this old lady in the village, a healer, that uh, can potentially cure, cure you. And so let's go and see her. So, so I went there and I remember, I must have been, yeah, I was a little boy and, and she called me over to her table, she called me over to the table and said, uh, sit down, or hello and all that, sit down, so I sat down next to her, then, then she took out a, a, like a scrapbook and said to me, look at all the people, this is 32 years ago, that are cured of cancer, and, uh, and then she said that she will be able to be able to fix my feet, and then she gave me can uh, cannabis cream, a cannabis spray, uh, and I can't remember what else. But all I know is that after that, I never had that problem with my feet anymore. Um, and that's that's the end of that story. All right, so the healers were using it 32 years ago. Anyway, so we finished the filtration there. Can you see the mess in there? It looks how, purple on the camera. Yeah, look at look how Matt, clean this is. It's, st it's still going. Okay, let's just have that in there. That's rather clean. All right, so now what's going to happen is we're going to leave that bowl to evaporate. Then what, Jackies. what will happen is we'll just be left with the brown, um, the brown resin in solution. The, the brown resin will remain. As all of the ethanol evaporates, uh, you could have distilled it off, but 
uh, we want and then we're going to put it in this jar store it in the fridge and when people uh, want it for cannabis or for for cancer or if they, they, their children have got cancer then we can give it to them and it won't affect their minds in a psychoactive fashion all right okay for me let's mm -hmm. get so how do I how do I do the, the exit? What am I supposed to say? Saga um, out. Saga out.